personalized medicine grew from new discoveries about the molecular basis of diseases and how each person is genetically unique. For doctors, that means variations in how each person responds to different treatments may be the key to healing. In general, uh, this is a technology that creates hope for a patient. So for some patients it's changing lives nowadays, but for almost all patients it's, it gives hope for the future. The incurable hereditary disease, cystic fibrosis, lines patients' lungs or intestines with thick mucus, preventing their normal function. It can have many forms, so there are a number of drug therapies. Unfortunately, some of them are prohibitively expensive. In order to test whether a drug will be effective or not, researchers in the Netherlands developed a technique to grow mini copies of patients' organs. In this study, they grew copies of intestines for 450 patients. They're only maybe up to a millimeter large, uh, but they are complete. They have everything that you would see in a, in a real gut, only at a very small scale. The tests quickly showed that cells treated with a drug swelled as they should when processing salt and water. This is a very clear indication that the drug is active. So by looking at the, the swelling phenotype, we can see whether a drug is, is, is going to be active in an individual patient or not. One of those patients now feels good enough to resume enjoying her favorite hobby. Like someone opened the curtains and said, sunshine, here I am, please come and come out and play, almost like that. The researchers in the U.S. are using the same technique to test drugs on tumor cells taken from cancer patients. We can now expose that tumor to 10, 100, 1,000 different drugs and find the drug that most efficiently kills the tumor cells for that particular patient. Scientists say there are still many obstacles and challenges for the new method to be fully employed, but they hope in a decade or so personalized medicine may become available worldwide. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.